In this video, we're going to talk about the units and frame of reference helpers. And these are tools that are available to you to help you convert from one unit to another, to enter data in a frame of reference that makes sense to you, and to perform other conversions to simplify the data entry process. So we're going to go ahead and open up uh, poll real quickly, and we'll just go through them one at a time. Um, let's talk about the frame of reference first. Let's say that I'm editing this cross arm right here, and rather than having received from the field its height above the ground line, let's say from a total station or from the photogrammetry system, I know its distance from the tip instead. Easy enough. Go here and I type tip minus, let's say, four or five feet, and it calculates what the new height from the ground line would be based on using the tip minus four feet. I can do similar sorts of things, for example, um, let's look at the pole, and if I go over to the circumference field and tell it that I'm going to measure the ground line circumference, let's say that the field crew was using a caliper, they weren't using a tape measure, and so what I know is the diameter. Simple enough, I say diameter equals, let's say, 10 inches. And actually I could have just said D. For, for almost all of these, the first letter will do it. Um, similarly, I can do radius equals six inches, let's say, and it will go ahead and convert over. Um, so uh, I can also do other sorts of frame of reference type of operations having to do with uh, rotational values. So let us set this pole up so that it has a line of lead of, let's say, 30 degrees. Okay. Now, as you're aware, all of the values for rotation are relative to the parent structure that you're mounted on. So the rotation of a span is set by its relative angle compared to the insulator that it's on, compared to the cross arm that it's on, compared to the pole that it's hooked to. Well, that can be a bit cumbersome um, if you're not doing it through the photogrammetry system. So let's take this span right here and say, um, you know, I don't want to figure all that out. I just want it to go off at 45 degrees. What you do is you set the rotation and you just say absolute equals 45. And it goes ahead and sets it. And actually, I'm sure you can see up here that it did it. Um, now, that's kind of useful, but let's take its its other span. Let's say you're doing a down guy or you're doing a uh, an alternative span. Now the system will automatically do all this stuff for you if you just do the span duplication process, but let's say for the sake of argument that I'm not doing that, then I can say absolute value equals the inverse of 45, in which case it'll automatically figure out that 195 degrees is the relative rotation that needs to be applied in order to to get the opposite, the inverse of, a, of an absolute of 45 degrees. So you can see this is all pretty helpful. Uh, let's talk now about the units conversion. Um, yeah, let's just stay with this span. Let's say I'm going to set the span's length, and but instead of doing it in feet, which is what the system expects, I want to. I happen to have the data in meters. Well, if I say Control U for units, uh, the little units helper comes up, and now I can say 30 meters, and then I have these little combo boxes below, and if I tab down, if I start to type something, M for example, it'll go to the next one that, that would be an M, so I can cycle through, like so, meters to feet. Now, you'll notice there are units up here, not only for um, for um, length, but for volume and, and other things like that. Wh whatever I select up here, only values that make sense to be converted from the unit up there um, are allowed. So I'm going to convert 30 meters into feet, and that's 98.43 feet, and there we go. And I, of course, can combine these things. So let's say I go back to my cross arm example, and I want to say edit that, and I want to say control U for units and I want it to be one meter and then I say home and I say tip minus and so now I can say the tip minus the foot equivalent of one meter and it goes ahead and sets it for me. 
So that's all of the um, unit and frame of reference conversion helpers. They're extremely useful depending uh, how your data is coming in and uh, I encourage you to use them.